It's been exactly one month since I issued an unholy challenge to the world, and I pray the Lord can forgive us for this sin. I did something pretty sinister. I set in motion a series of events that would lead to hundreds if not thousands of people suffering, and this action will probably cement me in the history books right next to Vlad the Impaler when it comes to humanity's most prolific torturers. I opened Pandora's box and released all the evil inside directly into the bloodstream of gamers everywhere. I put a $5,000 bounty on completing the hardest challenge in gaming, a challenge that no one has completed in 18 years, and then a week ago I actually upped that bounty from $5,000 to $20,000 since no one had claimed it over the last three weeks, and it's now been a month and still no one has claimed it. So in case you haven't been keeping up, I'll break it down as quickly as possible, give you a nice concise plot summary here to catch you up on the lore. I issued a challenge to anyone in the world to complete Halo 2 on Legendary Difficulty solo with every single original skull turned on except for Envy. The skulls in Halo 2 modify the game to make it harder. The only skull that doesn't do that is Envy. It gives you camo when you turn on a flashlight, so it's actually helpful. Turn that skull off, keep every other skull on, so 13 skulls on, on Legendary Difficulty, solo, completing the entire game without dying. No deaths. Not a single death. If you die, you restart the whole thing. And it all has to be streamed, so that way we can verify that it was all done in a single run without any external cheats or splicing or editing tricks. It has been an absolute joy to watch people run this. Since upping the bounty to $20,000, We've gotten a couple hundred, if not a couple thousand new runners all trying it, and pretty much all of them have given up by now over the last, like, 48 hours, I'd say. They've just begun to fizzle out, probably for their own mental health, because if they kept going, they'd end up locked in a mental institution, because it is absolutely diabolical. It is fucking brutal. And since upping it to 20,000, it actually got picked up by a ton of news outlets. It went viral on Twitter with the entire Halo community talking about it. Even 343 Studios even mentioned it, wondering if it's possible, which it is. It is, a, it is legitimately possible, just extremely hard. A ton of other outlets picked up on it, but not just in the U.S. It became international news for gamers. I know like Famitsu, if that's how you say it, was talking about it. I also heard it was pretty big in Germany for a little while. So the news of the bounty has spread far and wide since upping it, and it has been incredible seeing so many people try it. I have watched probably close to like a hundred hours worth of people doing this bounty run, these bounty runs. It's been amazing. Now I'd like to further illustrate just how difficult this challenge is because I know a lot of people who might not be familiar with Halo 2 hear this and it's like, it's a first person shooter, how can it be that difficult? I just want to start laying out the brass tacks here because what I've done here is basically what Pain did in Naruto. I taught the world what true pain and agony feels like when I brought this bounty into existence here. I opened a portal directly to hell. So, like I mentioned, over the last month we've had, if I had to guess, probably like a thousand to fifteen hundred runners actively trying it. That doesn't count people who tried it for like a single stream for two hours and gave up. I'm talking about people that have tried it a few times over the course of a few days. Probably around a thousand to fifteen hundred. Do you know how many people made it past level one? Seven. Seven goddamn chiseled warriors made it past level one and have had actual deep runs. Just seven. It's like right out of the boys. Seven superheroes here. And the crazy thing is, statistically, you have better odds of like making it to the NBA than you do making it past level one here in this challenge. It's fucking absurd. I want to quickly shout out these seven brave gladiators for going into the Thunderdome and popping off. We have Gervalin, Pedrogas, Cordiaxis, Eric, Frazier, Mr. Monopoly, and Halo Completionist. There's also one runner on YouTube named Carrier who has also had a run to, I believe, Arbiter. So it's actually eight, but seven on Twitch. And it's been so fun to watch. So I, I want to go a little deeper in there. Halo 2 has 13 levels. It's an extremely long campaign. From start to finish, this run, when completed, will probably take roughly 7 hours, maybe 7.5 hours of a single run. So 7 to 7.5 seven hours to complete the game with this bounty like this. And right now, the furthest anyone's made it 
is to level 10 out of 13. It's the hardest level in the entire run. It's called Gravemind. And you get to Gravemind at around 4 hours and 30 minutes. So you're 4 hours 30 minutes into a run. You're already getting a little fatigued, maybe a little bit sweaty. Maybe your uh, your vision's blurred because you're starting to get malnourished because you haven't had vitamins in a while because you, you forgot to eat. So you get to Gravemind, you're excited. And then, you know what? You got to buckle down because it's the hardest goddamn mission in the run. It's actually the hardest level in all of Halo. So if you fuck up there... You start the whole thing over. Four hours and 30 minutes right into the shitter. It is brutal. And of the eight people who have made it past level one multiple times, there's only one person who's made it to Gravemind, and that's Gervalin. Gervalin has made it to Gravemind six times. And one of his runs, he actually almost completed it. It has been outstanding to watch. Gervalin is an absolute fucking surgeon at Halo 2. He's definitely the front runner and the favorite to actually claim the bounty here, and I do, I do think he has the best shot at completing this, but that's not to say that none of the other runners have a chance. All of the other runners are just now learning this. They're figuring it out and starting to get their footing. Gervalin's had years of experience running this. So the other runners are finally making deep runs consistently. So we've had like five of those runners make it all the way to level 7, which is regret. Some of them have done it a couple times, so there's definitely like heated competition now as people are really starting to get their, their footing and get, get a handle on it. So I'm really excited to see it continue to develop. And I just want to say, Gervalin's clips are some of the most entertaining I've seen. They're so fucking fun. I just want to show you like a montage of his most iconic deaths so far over just the last week. Since raising the bounty to 20k, the goofiness has been dialed up to 11. It's been so wild and wacky. Let me show you some of this. It's more of a, uh, it's more of a, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, more of a personal thing, dude. I, I like my, my fods to be flawless. Holy mother shit! Well, that's what I get. Just come here. You're in melee mode. Oh my god! Oh my! Wow. That one I need. I think I need to be more to the right. I think I know what to do. I'm here, like this. Yeah, he's stuck. Oh my! I just got baited, chat. I got baited. Exodia, obliterate! Bye! You fucking idiot! Get out! You and your dumb shit! Come! Come! Get out! Holy shit! I'm getting off! Oh my god! No way! Fuck you! Oh my god! The The fucking thing closed! You suck! Fifty-five. Oh! Holy sh What? The fuck just happened? Every death in this run is heartbreaking because it takes so long to get back to it. But Gervalin does a great job even as a streamer because he's constantly talking to chat. In fact, one thing I've noticed about this bounty is all of the best runners are also really good streamers. Throughout the run, and since it's such a long run, they're always joking with chat, talking to chat, telling stories, keeping it lighthearted. So it's not only just like, good content from like a gameplay perspective but it's just like entertaining stream content in general 
like all eight of these runners are like actually good streamers too which is fantastic a nice cherry on top of the cake now all of these goofy deaths i've shown you are not grave mind i want to show you three grave mind deaths that he got this week all of which would make even the strongest man weep it's so sad to get to grave mind and die is just a rough feeling because it takes so long so all of these are like five hours ish and my god do they hurt Well then! I have to get health off this guy or I'm gonna die in the next section anyway. I do have shield though, or I do have some health left on my character, so it'd be fine. Okay. Bait the overheat. That last death is especially painful because he had gotten so far. That right now is the furthest any mortal has made it in this bounty. So what he did is he got through like the hardest part of Gravemind, which is a component called Prison. He was pretty much through Prison for the most part and was almost in that home stretch, but was unfortunately cut short by some drones. Drones are like the little flying insect guys that fucked him in the ass here, unfortunately. Uh, this was five days ago. And I, I still think Dravalin's just one good run away from clutching this all out. But it's just, it's tough. It's just a really hard bounty. But I've got to tell you, the fucking stream content is amazing. I have watched so many streams. When I'm not doing anything or when I'm just like hanging out, even when I'm lifting, I always have someone stream up that's doing this bounty because it's so fucking entertaining. It's not the same thing every time. Like, for example, I like speedrunning. I love watching speedrunning. But... Once it's figured out, like once the route's established, most speedruns play out the same and it's just a matter of executing it flawlessly and executing it better than everyone else, which is great to see. But here, that doesn't really apply. Yes, the runners are all using similar, if not the same routes, depending on the game they're playing, whether it's Halo 2 Classic or Halo 2 Anniversary, but it changes so much between every run because there's a lot of RNG to it. The enemy's spawn might be a different weapon, like, sometimes an elite will spawn with uh, dual plasmas, maybe not. Sometimes enemies will do things that they've never done before, like the AI just goes rogue. Sometimes they won't even die to a back smack with, like they're supposed to, which can just fuck your run right away. And it's all about adapting to the bullshit. So every run is always different and exciting. Just absolutely exhilarating to watch. So many incredible moments from this, and I absolutely love it. I know this challenge will be completed. I have no doubt about it. I know there were a couple people like YouTubers saying that it probably never will be done or calling it straight up impossible, but it's not. It is doable. It's just going to take the perfect run. And when that happens, it's going to be absolutely historic. 18 years, no one's been able to do it. And I know we're going to see it. Could be any day now someone's going to pull it off. I know it and I'm excited for it. And I'm just going to keep watching because this shit's so much fun. This bounty has been amazing. And I just wanted to give a little update on where everyone's at and how it's all going. So yeah, that's about it. See ya.